Hi, welcome back to Vanny Orchard. Thank you everyone for your support. And today I'm going to give you a tour where I grow my vegetable garden is right over here. And this time I'm going to grow a lot of herb uh, because herb can be very expensive you buy in the store. So I'm going to grow a lot of them and dry them and I will give it to friends and family. And I came across this jar right here back in November on May and Mayfair and it come in 24 and also came with the label black one or also have some of name of the herb if they don't have it you can use a black one write it down and you just put it on the lid so this is what i'm going to do this year and maybe you can do the same too you know grow a lot of herb and give to friends and family because it's very very expensive and if you don't have the space like I have, you know, if you just have a small space, even inside your home, if you can have the sun light a little bit, you also can grow all kind of herb too for yourself and dry, hand dry it and then use it for yourself the whole year round. On this side of the house, this is where I grow all my vegetable. And most of them are in the pot or standing up raised bed. I don't have space to build a raised bed over here because it's very small and it worked well for me to grow them in the pot. And on this right here is basil, it's a mixed basil. And this is early girl tomato, basically it will go in the pot as soon as I get a chance because I've been planting a lot of vegetable. Try to get ready for spring. There is Asian pear, three, three different type of Asian pear on here. And this two right here is my blueberry. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, look at all the flowers. I can't believe it. I'm looking forward to pick the fruit. Oh my goodness, it's so, so beautiful. I am so, so happy. And on this two part right here is a nectarine, it's called Snow Queen Nectarine. And I grow them by my kitchen window right over here because the kitchen window is facing the street and people home. And I want that privacy. Also, summertime is too, too hot. It's over here in Southern California. The sun, the heat is over 100 degree. And that's the reason why it's also I grow so much fruit tree because to keep the house cool down during summer and it's really 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 help us with that let me show you over here where my raised bed is this is the mixed lettuce right here this two is a mixed lettuce and this one here is carrot let me go back over here and let's go this way and over here this is thyme. This is rose desert. Not doing too well because it's too cold. And this one is Thai basil, which is I'm waiting for the flowers ready to so I'm saving the seed to grow some more Thai basil. And that is kale, sage. Over here is rosemary. Over here is sugar snappy, which is, I grow them from the seed that I saved last year from the snappy, and which means I'm going to continue to save the seed so I don't have to buy the, them anymore. You know, you just save them year after year. And this is oregano. I need to trim them down, Italian oregano. This is borage, which is I'm going to put them on the ground later because this sugar snap pea, I think it will be ready to come down in a couple of weeks uh, because it's start to finish. Maybe another two or three weeks, then I will bring it down and clear the area up and plant some more stuff. And this one is another pear, have three different type of pear also. And this is all the cilantro, it's all the volunteer from the seed when the wind blow because here go all my cilantro over here also it's all from the seed that I saved from last year you don't have to buy them anymore this is more sugar snappy see it it's more snappy oh, turn over here on this side to my other three raised bed 
this right this two right here you see this two right here oh god what is it again <laughs> beet yeah it's a it's beet and right over here is carrot yeah it's a carrot and over here is chive this is another tomato right over here it's called beef master yes and it's big juicy sweet it's so good for the sandwich and my husband he love it and right over here this is another uh, basil it's start to come out and here are the succulent you know just pinch them it's just you know it's just growing like crazy and this is my other two sugar snap peas these two these two right here i plant them just for the seed only so i'm gonna let them uh you know go to you know uh, for seed for say for this coming falls again so I can plant more snappy and right here I believe is fafa bean I think so my husband he plant this and that, yeah that's a, I believe it's fafa bean and right here is a green onion and I'm letting go to flower here so I can save the seed to grow all the time from the seed and over here is my irises right here and look at all this honey tangelo i have so much honey tangelo this year the tree is just like it's just it's dragged down because it's a lot a lot of fruit and really really happy about it it's a good crop very good crop let me turn back over here see that's where my garden is and this is more kale more kale here all the snappy yeah look at all the snappy see it and more volunteer look at this this is all cilantro it's all from seed and I just come and cut them and cook them yeah and I really enjoy it I'm so happy so anyway so this is how they look like see it and let me go the other way I'm gonna get stuck over here <laughs> I don't want to get stuck there you go there you go see yeah. look all this honey tangelo I have to cut some of the branch off because it was so many I can't get through this area so I chop this section off I can't get through it was just too many and you know I yeah and over here I plan um, pepper Hungarian wax pepper which is we, we grow this last year but it's really delicious and I plant them in a 15 gallon pot see and and then show you this side you see this is where my um, this is my fix miss figgy and last year back in April my first video if you look at it it's a lot smaller the succulent now look at how it grow I just cut them and stuck in the ground that's one good thing about here living in Southern California we get away with so many things you know and and we, we benefit so much from our garden that we so spoil in our own way that we don't need a greenhouse to get it started we just put it in the ground and they grow that's one good thing about Southern California and over here I grow more tomato on a 15 gallon pot this one is beef master which is my husband's favorite it's big it's it's meaty juicy and sweet and so good you know like put for sandwich i slice a big chunk and it's just delicious really really good 
and let me show you over here here is another miss figgy and what i've done over here the same thing i chop i cut some uh, of the uh, succulent from over there and planted over here and i planted this about maybe three days ago and you will see in, in the future in a couple of months you're going to see them getting bigger and bigger by summer it's it's getting pretty big and this is what i have and over here is more tomato it's all in 15 gallon pot to give room to grow more beef this beef master this one is sugar rush sun gold tomato another beef master right here and let me go over here for you show you i come across orange mint and i never grow this before i'm so excited it smells like orange and, my, and mint it's like taste between orange and mint and i plant two of them one over here and one on this side and this is for my tea it's me and my husband so we can have tea every day through the whole year and can wait and you know what too the more you pinch them the more it just get bigger right now I'm not, I cannot do anything about it yet I probably wait till maybe two or three weeks and then that's when I start to pinch and make some tea because I just plan them also once again thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video Thank you.